Hello and welcome to my channel. As we have started the Six Nations Rugby, I thought that I would do a little sort of rugby themed snack to go with the matches. So today I am going to be making some low sin scotch eggs. First things first, let's run through the ingredients for our scotch egg. So I've got um, 500 grams of lean pork mince, so that's 5% fat or less. I am going to be adding a few little mushrooms into my um, scotch egg mixture. So I've got a few mushrooms there that I'll be chopping up very finely. I've then obviously got some eggs as a very core ingredient. Um, so I'll be using all of these to make the scotch eggs and then I'll be using a couple of other eggs just to break um, to dip the mixture in and to help bind it all together. I'll also be using just a little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt just to help bind the um, mince mixture when we get onto that, um, as well as some herbs and spices. And last but not least, I am cheating and using some ready-made breadcrumbs. Um, so these come in at four and a half sins for 25 grams. You can, of course, make your own just by whizzing up some wholemeal bread or wholemeal rolls in a food processor um, but as I can't be bothered with that I am using some of these fine breadcrumbs so do just check the sin value of any breadcrumbs that you are using. Step number one will be to get my eggs boiling and you only need to do quite a short boil on them um, so I'll only be boiling mine for around five to six minutes initially. So I'll get those going and in the meantime I will chop up my other ingredients. First things first, I'm just going to chop up my mushrooms, like I say, really nice and finely for the mushrooms while that egg water is boiling. Step two is great fun because this is where we get to be a bit messy. Yeah, I'm just going to pop my chopped mushrooms into a bowl. to season it up with some Italian herb seasoning I fancy today. A little bit of salt and pepper. Going to crack an egg in to help it all bind. Going to add a tablespoon of fat free Greek yogurt. Terrible job of opening that. Last but not least, I will add in my pork mince. Okay, and then we just mix it all together.
and then we need to bring in our eggs which I've just plunged straight into a cold jug of water and we need to try and peel them without breaking them everywhere so my top tip is to just tap them on the counter and just roll them like that just to break up the shell final stage is to put it all together and uh, create our scotch eggs so I just need to break an egg into a bowl and just mix that up okay and I've got my breadcrumbs already over here And I've also got a baking tray out, which I am going to spray with some fry light. So here comes the messy bit. So you just form the mince around your egg, then you dip it in the raw egg, just coat that, and then you just roll it in your breadcrumbs. And when that's done, just pop it on your baking tray. not binding well enough then just add another egg yolk my leftover mixture I'm just going to make some scotch without the egg. And then just pop them in the oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes. And that's my low-sin scotch eggs, which Rupert would very much have liked to eat, but I wouldn't let him. So if you've enjoyed today's video, then please do like, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. See you soon.